Penny loved to build. She built tall towers with blocks and cozy forts with blankets. Building made her happy. One sunny morning, Penny was playing fetch with her fluffy white dog Buster. Buster loved to fetch his bright red ball. Oh! Oh! Barked Buster, dropping the ball at Penny's feet. Penny giggled and threw the ball with all her might. The red ball soared through the air, but oh no! It bounced right over the fence and rolled down a grassy hill. Splash! The ball landed with a plop in the middle of a wide, gurgling creek. Buster whined. How would they get it back? Penny put her hands on her hips. Don't worry, Buster. I'll build a bridge. I'm Penny the planner. And I can build anything. First, Penny gathered some long, thin sticks. She laid them across the creek, trying to connect one side to the other. There, she announced, stepping onto her new bridge. But wobble, wobble, wobble. The sticks were too flimsy. Ah, oh, said Penny as she quickly jumped off. The sticks fell into the water with a splash. That didn't quite work. Buster tilted his head. Woof! He looked at the ball floating away. Penny thought and thought. Those sticks were too weak, she mumbled. I need something stronger. Next, she found some big, flat rocks. These are heavy, she grunted, pushing and pulling them to the creek bank. She carefully placed the rocks in the water, trying to make a stepping stone path. They look sturdy. Perfect, Penny declared ready to cross, but when she took a step, the water was deeper than she thought. My bridge is too short, she realized, pulling her foot back quickly. The rocks were strong, but they didn't reach all the way. Penny sighed, her shoulders slumped. Building was harder than she thought today. This is tricky, Buster. Buster nudged her hand with his wet nose, as if to say, Keep trying. Penny took a deep breath. She looked at the creek. She looked at the rocks. She looked at the sticks. I need to observe. She noticed how the water flowed quickly. She saw how far away the ball was. She saw how strong the creek banks were. Hmm. She pondered. I need something long and strong. And it needs to reach all the way across. Penny searched again. This time, she found a long, thick wooden plank that had fallen from an old tree. This looks perfect, she exclaimed, dragging it towards the creek. It was heavy, but she was determined. With a mighty push, Penny slid the wooden plank across the creek. It rested firmly on both banks. She carefully stepped onto the plank. It didn't wobble. It didn't sink. It was just right. I did it, Buster, she cheered, doing a little dance on her new bridge. Buster barked happily, wagging his tail. Penny walked across the plank and carefully picked up the bright red ball. Success! She walked back, ball in hand and gave it to Buster. He caught it with a happy yip. Building isn't always easy, Buster, Penny said, petting his head. Sometimes you have to try, and try again. But every time you try, you learn something new. Even wobbly bridges can teach you a lot. From that day on, Penny knew that mistakes were just magnificent parts of the design process. They helped her build even better things. She learned to observe carefully, test her ideas, and revise her plans. And she always remembered that a little perseverance goes a long way.